one. I have a brief story that I'd like to share with you as we get started. When I was a full-time faculty member at Sierra College, um, I started teaching online around 2003, and a couple of years after that, maybe, I was attending a graduation ceremony, and as everyone is, feeling very excited about the students as they walked across the stage when their names were called. And I remember hearing the name of one of my online students, and I remember kind of, you know, pushing myself back a little bit and thinking, wow, you know, on the one hand, I'm so excited for this person and that's amazing. And um, on the other hand, I felt a little concerned, uh, apprehensive, because I could feel inside me um, this realization that that student didn't know who I was and I didn't know who that student was. So after the graduation was over and uh, faculty and staff were applauding the students and you know going up to them and shaking their hands and so forth, I couldn't find that student. And I wanted to change that. I had the sense inside me that that relationship between me and my students was really important. And what I was focusing on in my classroom was my content. Uh, this was long ago before YouTube, before Facebook, and so the technology, of course, is not the technology that we know today. Um, and so I bring that into this experience of teaching this class. Um, I've, I've been, I've had my hands in this space, this humanizing space, for a very long time. I'm going to be sharing a lot of what I've learned along the way with you. Um, but I'm going to be very upfront about, you know, my own bias and why I think this is important. And I know that each of you is bringing your own experiences and your mindsets about teaching and learning into this uh, class as well. And that's very important for us to recognize. Um, so this first module, we are going to take an approach that looks at what we know from the research. So we'll be looking at research from uh, online education, particularly looking at some studies that focus on online community college students and think about how that population of students is different from populations of students served by different types of institutions. We're also going to be looking at neuroscience and thinking about what we know about the way the human brain works and how that ties back to teaching and learning and the process of cognition. All along, as you go through this module, I want you to be keeping one question in mind. What's the big deal? Okay, so you'll be forming your position. And um, at the end of the module, we'll be engaging in a conversation using a new asynchronous video tool called Flipgrid. We're just going to reflect on your takeaways from the module. I've got some more specific instructions for you when you get that far, but um, that's what you have ahead of you. So some reading, you'll be watching um, a video or two and listening to a podcast episode. So I'll see you at the end of the module in the Flipgrid. Take care.